video consists of two important elements. Obviously you have the visuals and the second is the audio. Most people would agree that the latter actually plays a bigger role in viewer retention. For example, a video with average quality visuals and great sound will retain viewers, whereas excellent visuals with poor quality sound will do the opposite. Look, basically what I'm alluding to here is if you only had the funds to upgrade one thing, I would upgrade the audio and to do that you need a good mic. A decent one could cost anything over 100 quid, but that's where the Fine Fine K690 comes in. It might not be the most well known brand out there, but for a microphone with four pickup patterns, it's actually very affordable. If you're interested in how well this mic performs, keep watching, or is it keep listening? You know what I mean. So here we have the box for the Fine Fine K690 understand your voice better hopefully you already understand your own voice i certainly do except for the ones in my head anyways the packing is an ott it's fairly plain but let's get this thing open the first thing you'll see is a contact card and thank you note on the other side next you have the user guide which will show you how to set up and use the mic everything is securely packed inside this cut out foam which definitely reassures me that nothing should have been damaged during shipping here's a quarter inch to 5.8 microphone mount thread adapter if you want to use it with a boom arm we have another little box. This one's got a USB-A to mini USB cable. Come on guys, this should have been USB-C. Moving on, we have the K690 itself, which I must say does feel really great in the hand. It just feels really premium when it's cold to the touch. And that's because it has a full metal body. Very impressive indeed, considering the price. It will be obvious to most that this microphone is very reminiscent of the Blue Yeti blackout version. There's no way of getting away from that. But to be honest, when you put them together, it's also apparent that the Blue Yeti is a fair bit bigger. The K690 is 234 millimeters tall with the stand, 166 millimeters without it. It weighs in at 980 grams in its entirety, which is actually 20 grams less than just the weight of the Blue Yeti stand. I'll of course compare the performance of these mics a little later on in the review. The mic has a very sturdy metal stand. You can of course swivel the mic to point the way you want, or you can remove it completely from the stand to maybe put it on a boom arm. On the back of the mic, you have the gain control knob. There's also a knob to quickly switch between the different pickup patterns. There's four, cardioid, omnidirectional, bidirectional, and stereo. I'll be testing this mic in cardioid as that's the mode where sound is only picked up from the front of the mic. And that's what suits my needs for recording voiceover. And I suspect most of the people watching this review will be doing the same. On the bottom, you've got a quarter inch thread hole. There's a mini USB port. You also have a headphone jack for real time monitoring. Around the front, there's a mute button, which I actually prefer over the one on the Blue Yeti. It's actually easier to activate, and when the mute is active, the LED color will change from green to red. You might not think that's a big deal, but when you compare it to the Blue Yeti, which goes from solid red to flashing red when muted, I think the K690's method is more obvious and foolproof. Trust me when I say you don't want to record a long voiceover to then find out that you had your mic on mute. So yeah, it's, it's a small difference, but it's better. You've also got a knob here to adjust the volume for your headphones. Anyways, what the hell is this weird thing that's stuck to the side? Let me just dash that aside. Moving on. On the bottom of the stand, you have, wait, wait, that's what that weird thing is. One of the rubber grips had come off. Not sure how that happened, but it's pretty easy to stick back on. So yeah, you got five of these rubber grips at the bottom of the stand to ensure the mic doesn't slide around your desk. Let's talk about how well this microphone performs. Well, everything you've heard so far was recorded via the K690 in cardioid mode. This is of course a condenser microphone, so no surprise, it's pretty good at picking up my voice very accurately. I should also emphasize that the audio you're listening to has had some post-processing done to remove background noises, but that's it. The comparison test between the K690 and the Blue Yeti I'll be doing shortly won't be processed at all. And also bear in mind, I'm not using any pop filters or acoustic foam or anything like that. So let's get started. I'll quickly read one of my favorite monologues. Well, it's an adaptation and Morgan Freeman obviously sounds much better than I do. Anyways, firstly, let's start off with the K690. No one would have believed in the early years of the 21st century that our world was being watched by intelligences greater than our own that as men busied themselves about their various concerns, they observed and studied, the way a man with a microscope might scrutinize the creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. With infinite complacency, men went to and fro about the globe, confident of our empire over the world, yet across the gulf of space, intellects vast and cool and unsympathetic regarded our planet with envious eyes, and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. Now here's the same recording using the Blue Yeti. No one would have believed in the early years of the 21st century that our world was being watched by intelligences greater than our own, 
that as men busied themselves about their various concerns, they observed and studied the way a man with a microscope might scrutinise the creatures that swarm and multiply in a drop of water. With infinite complacency, men went to and fro about the globe, confident of our empire over the world, yet across the gulf of space, intellects vast and cool and unsympathetic regarded our planet with envious eyes and slowly and surely drew their plans against us. So from the first test it's pretty evident that the Blue Yeti has a slightly higher proximity effect. My voice sounds deeper, obviously it's not a huge difference but it's definitely noticeable. I also notice a slightly louder noise floor on the Blue Yeti, I normally remove it with the denoiser effect on Adobe Premiere so it's not a deal breaker for me but what's good to see or hear in this case is that there's less white noise or hissing sound on the K690. It also seems to pick up less background sound which is great if you don't have a dedicated recording studio. Now let's test how both mics perform with plosives, as I did before I'll start with the K690. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And here's the same recording from the Blue Yeti. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, a peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Both microphones did well in this test. I don't normally use pop filters with my Blue Yeti because I know the audio is usable even without it. I'm actually surprised to hear the K690 perform just as well when it comes to resisting plosives. So before I conclude, I want to make one thing clear. This isn't a Blue Yeti versus K690 video. I've simply given you guys a sample of the Blue Yeti to give you an idea of how something with a higher price tag and popularity performs in comparison. The quality of the Blue Yeti is slightly better, but the main focus here is of course the K690. Overall, the recording does sound somewhat clean, even without any post-processing, and that's good for someone like me who doesn't have a dedicated recording studio. It means less work. Who doesn't like less work? And just to be clear, I mean less unnecessary work. I do enjoy productive work. The K690 picks up slightly less background noise than the Blue Yeti. It's got a quieter noise floor, and at the time of recording this, it only costs £76, which is relatively cheap. This is a mic I recommend to anyone on a budget who still wants good quality audio recordings. If you're interested, I've placed links to the product in the description below. This has been Raju Rahman from Tectonic. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you, please subscribe and like. That would really help me out. And don't forget to check out these other videos too.